Hi, I have been doing some more work on the MIDI CDJ and I borrowed a Serato box so that I could do some testing and managed to get things working. I had to do a little bit of programming on the on the CDJ but only a little bit. The trickiest part was getting the job wheel working and I had to basically copy how some Denon devices worked. But luckily Traktor can work in the exact same way. So the changes that I made work on Serato and Traktor. The only problem is, is if you do any MIDI mapping in real time, it rewrites the programming uh, for the jog wheel and stops it working. But you just have to reload it in again and it's fine. So I've, I've got it working almost the same as in Traktor. The only thing that I can't do is I haven't figured out how to do the shift buttons. So like when you press that to delete a hot cue, uh, it doesn't seem to work. Um, as you can see, the LEDs are working. They, they're automatically programmed. Everything works as we would expect. We can skip back to forwards, load the next track, go back a track. If it's playing, it jumps back to the beginning of the track. Pitch works in exactly the same way. We can change the pitch range. Loop. Change the loop size. Shuffle the loops backwards and forwards. Then we have our hot cues. We can change the color of the hot cues uh, in the XML files by adjusting the velocity. So I could add colors to match the Serato which are separate to the ones that are in Traktor. So the only thing I can't do is press the shift button and delete them. And the job works probably better than it does in Traktor, to be fair. So there we go. Um, I did try Record Box, and at the moment, Record Box does not support any jog wheels in any way that isn't one of its partnered products. So I gave up trying to do anything else. But this worked out better than I thought. I've got it programmed in for both decks on channel 1 and channel 2 and it works really really nicely. Um, <clears throat> I am doing some other work in the background trying to optimize the code um, and also looking at adding um, other things like screens and, and things like that. Um, but I'm happy now that we could take a pair of these and actually use them in Serato. So uh, thank you for watching and I will post another video as soon as I've got something else to share.